Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Slash, the new game mode in Smite. So for those that don't know, Season 9 is coming around the corner and basically what they did is they took Slash, or they took Clash, and they took Siege and they are like, nah. And they combined them and now we have Slash, and they removed Clash, and they removed Siege. But overall, this game mode looked really fun. When I was looking at it, it looked like, okay, it has the Siege elements, the things that made Siege fun. It has the elements that made Clash fun. So, yeah, honestly, combining game mode is probably best because Siege suffered due to a low player base. And Clash, I mean, just combining them is great. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Waiting on card. Uh, they So, I guess uh, they don't have the Apollo card art in-game. They used to do that for all PTSs. I actually kind of missed that. They stopped doing that for a while. And like when Capri came out, they had a temporary card art for him that was like a Capri son with Capri. And they had one for Janos. I don't know. They just made like bad <laughs> card arts for them. It's it's actually hilarious. Um. Anyways, we're kind of just going to be diving into, into things just to show you guys mostly the game mode. I think I'm, I want to go damage. Excuse me. Let's see. Maybe I could go pen, Pendulum of Ages. Or I could go Sacrificial Shroud. And go full damage. Alright. So let's see. We're getting Blink, of course. But what do the two Blinks do? On teleporting, slow all enemies' movement speed and attack speed at 15% within 25 unit radius. Okay. And the other one is leave behind a trail of wildfire that deals 20 true damage plus 4 true damage per level. Okay. So one's a damage one, one's a slow one. Cool. But yeah, here's the slash map. I was not here for the red buff fight. Sorry, team. I was reading. I was getting that education. Now, the map's really big. It feels more like Clash than Siege, the map-wise, now that I'm in-game. I'm pretty sure I have my settings on max. Maybe I don't, because the floor looks a little not max settings. Maybe I should go right, since there's too many people here. And they're pushed up. Whoops. Oh, that took my cooldown. That's so sad. Rip. Yeah, I don't actually know all the items with the new glyphs, and I also don't know all the new relics yet. I have yet to make a video on that, which I'm planning on doing. So, you know, still learning all the Season 9 stuff. Well, let's see if we can save him. We got the return kill. That's what it's all about. Hey, get him! Oh! Okay, right, good. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. <laughs> Uh, blink out, blink out, blink out, blink out, blink out. No one's chasing me, but I don't really care. <laughs> I have no idea why they didn't turn on me after I leaped in on that honor. They should have just been like, okay, Bacchus is dead. Or maybe they just thought I was dead. I'll take it. I'm also playing the Uncle Iroh skin. Because I, Uncle Iroh is like my favorite character from Avatar Last Airbender. And I have yet to get a video on him, so... It's kind of awesome. He's got different emotes. Like, he's got a special emote where he shoots lightning. It's pretty hype. Stuff like that. I'll see if I can show the other emotes in a bit. Killy's got the most damage. Okay, okay. Yeah, the, the map itself aesthetically looks amazing. I love it. But for those that don't know, there's these side camps, and there's a camp back here. And if you kill those, that's how you spawn a siege juggernaut. And the Sea Juggernaut is slightly different. I don't know how the stats are different, but visually it's like, uh, I think it's like one of Apophis's minions or something like that. I'm not too sure. Thanks. I'll save you. Oh, my ult's still down. Damn, my ult was up in one second. That ult would have definitely... Oops. Whoa, I'm knocking things over. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was probably really loud on the microphone. 
My setup's still a little bit temporary because I recently moved. Uh, can I just wait for this? What's a gold per five? Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this. Plus, I can get some drinks in the fountain. Uh, come on, let's get Bancrofts. Can go the weird lifesteal power build. That's best with sacrificial. Could even get rang does. I never do that in duel. I never get rang does in like full damage. But in other game modes, it helps because your opponents don't build full defense. <laughs> like they still build kind of squishy, so it works. So you can get in, get out, and leave. Plus, having area of effect abilities helps. Look at that. Beautiful. My husband and I are looking for someone of your skills. Oh, the siege thing spawned. But there's a fight in mid. Keep killing all you want, but do not step on my flower bed. Darn. Morgan Le Fay pushing me away. Oh, but the team's going in. They're going crazy. I have no abilities. Oh, damn. He leaped in instead of leaping out. Sorry, team. I misunderstood the situation. At least my autos are doing <laughs> some damage. Oh, I didn't get it. Achilles died, but I didn't get uh, the other one. Unfortunately, if I stayed for the two autos, I would have gotten it, but then I would have died. And I don't want to die again, if I'm being quite honest. Let's get Titans, and then I'm going to get probably a little bit of defense. Oh, what? Oh, one cool thing they did is that now there's two portals on this map, so you can choose which one you want to go to. Here's the Sea Juggernaut. Pretty cool looking. Can I body block him? Oh, you can. What if you got your team and just held the Sea Juggernaut back? Well, now I have a video idea. <laughs> also, you don't teleport to the Sea Juggernaut instantly. You kind of like become like a spirit ball and you go. It's kind of funky. Bop! Try saying bop and a different word at the same time. It didn't work. Yo, dude, I forgot how easy non-dual game modes are. When you're playing Guardians. <laughs> well, you guys are going ham. You guys are going to ham. I'm going with you. Uh oh, bye-bye. <laughs> But I killed someone, and that's all that matters. Not really, but like kind of really? Let's see. So can I upgrade this? So I think I want the slow all enemies, right? Dude, that's like a horrific emblem. If I blink, it pops horrific emblem on them. That's insane. That actually kind of changes how duel is, because if your opponent has blink, now you have to be aware of possibly getting sprint. Because if they blink in on you, I'll pick this up if you're not going to pick this up. They're both spawning. I slowed him. Nice. You know, my slow didn't feel very good. Yo, this Achilles is popping off. Yeah, the slow didn't feel very good, if I'm being quite honest. Oh, please don't alt me. Thank you. Oh. Keep in mind, after Typhons, I need some defense. Go, Achilles. 1v3. Or 2v3. Or 3v3. That is also good. Does anyone have any of the new items? Yeah, here's here's one of the new items. The the tier 4s. 
If you drop beneath 40% health, gain 10% movement speed and 40% 40% physical life still for 5 seconds? Dude, that's a super Aussie. What? What if you combine that with Aussie? Oh my god. You know, out of all the gods, I probably wouldn't put that on Rat Oscar, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. I'd put that on Vamana. No, not really. Actually, not Vamana. Who would I put that on? I'm not too sure. Maybe a Hunter, but Yotun's on a Hunter's? Not always the way to go. Oh, Giannis screwed me over. That's okay. I'm still alive. I'm outie. You know, I can't help but think that Relic Dagger is going to be better now with these new relics. Let's see. What relics should we get? Again, I haven't read all of them. Um... Oh, that sounded terrifying. Um, I want thorns. What does thorns do? Each base attack from enemy gods reduces the cooldown of this item by 0.5 seconds? Yeah, I kind of like this. Except now I can't afford... Dang it. How about I get a belt of frenzy since I... Since I don't have, since I'm not tank, <laughs> thorns wouldn't be as good. What does this do? If you gain a kill or assist on an enemy god while this buff is active, the duration refreshes can only occur once. Okay. And this gives 50% attack speed, decreasing every 0.5 for six seconds. Hmm. An enemy has been slain. I see. So you get a bunch of power, a bunch of damage and attack speed. 30% increased damage. That's actually insane. Was the left one the same? No. No, left one is 15% increased damage. I think the right one's better for me. Let's kill this. We haven't shown how this is. It's pretty easy to kill, to be quite honest. Uh oh. No, we got it. Could ult for that, but why? <laughs> oh, he popped beads. Uh oh, Fenrir. Uh oh. Don't look at me. No, get away from me. Get away from me. Please. <laughs> Alright, I need some defense. Let's get some defense. How about. Doesn't Breastplate of Valor have a weird. Yeah, it does. Triple kill, eh? What does this do? Each time you're hit by an ability, gain a stack of five protections that correspond to the damage type you were hit with. Up to a maximum of four of each type. Once you reach max stacks of both kinds, gain a 20% movement speed bus. Uh, movement speed and double your protections gained by this effect for eight seconds. When you your ultimate ability has finished casting, you provide an aura of 40 units, reducing base attack damage from all enemies for 30%. This may only occur once for 45 seconds. That sounds pretty hype. I'll go that one. Are the base stats different? No, oh, the base stats are the same. Okay, so it just adds an additional passive. Again, I'll make a video on all the new uh, tier 4 items once we... Uh, uh, very soon. Very soon. Within the next few days. As well as the relics. I wanted to get some Clash gameplay out. Yo, dude, left lane needs help. The only thing is I don't have magical protection. Whoops, that was a battle. <laughs> and by battle, I mean like really bad ult. A foe has withered to dust. Nice. Let's go team. Yeah, having the, the juggernauts in Clash is pretty fun. Because I remember one of the least one of the things I hated the most about Clash was when they had long range mages and you just couldn't push under Phoenix. And the matches would get really long. Oh, you're dead. I'm sorry, dude. Let's go, Apollo. Okay, bye, Apollo. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Whether I die, it's worth it. 
<laughs> I die for it, but I got the got the Phoenix dude. Is there a staff of Mirrodin upgrade? Hold on. I like I don't know how to check it. Can I search glyph? No. Oh no, here it is. Glyphs. Nimble Rod of 2D base tax and abilities gain 25% additional magical power against targets below 50% health. For every 40, for every 40 magical power you have, you gain 2% attack speed. Wow, I just discovered my new Ymir item. Full damage with Nimble Rod of 2D. Okay. I mean, of silence. That one was on the patch notes. Um, that after you, you get max stacks, you can hit them with the silence. So there's only this this many? Okay. Let's go this one. Sometimes the best way to solve your own problems is to help someone else. But yeah, it's cool how there's two or four items now. Type. Only for certain ones, and I think you can only have one glyph. I think that's how it works. So now that I have this, I can't get the Rod of 2D glyph. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead, but I killed Loki. I'm dying too much. This isn't fun. It's not fun when I die this much. Need a little bit more. Oh, never mind. That works for me. <laughs> it was a good duration of the game. We got to show things. But yeah, as you can see, Season 9 got some cool stuff. We've got glyphs. We've got relics. We've got slash. And surely, uh, you know, as the season goes, things are added always. Uh, one thing to note is if you're kind of like, that's it? That's all they're doing? I don't know why you would think that. But... Keep in mind, every year there's a mid-season patch, and usually the mid-season patch is sometimes even crazier than the the new season. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then don't forget there's a conquest map and new gods and all that good stuff. So, pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know uh, what you want to see in the future. Also, if you guys ever want to buy some gems, there's a link to buy gems in the description. And it really helps me out. Thank you to those who have been using that link. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.